Aloha! This is Dr. Tiki, writing a prescription for tiki drinks, tattoos, and tech. What could be more fun? It's time for another Strange Love Live. I'm befuddled. I'm I'm a little bemused as well because no so one else is here. You don't know really what's going on. I know, and they're telling me to start, so I'm just going to go ahead and start. Go Hi, start. welcome to Strange Love Live, live from Whiffy's Fried Pie. It's Four Square Day. Happy Four Square Day! Oh my God, I wasn't going to do a show tonight. Times four times four. Yeah, times four, four squared. April sixteenth, four sixteen. Um, yes. And we are here. Wait. Yeah. No, I'm Cami. Strange Love Live. Welcome to the show. This isn't where I normally do it. It's all crazy. It's chaos. It's anarchy. It's not in the streets. It's in a parking lot. And as so many things are in a parking lot, we've got Diesel Boy, Brett Burmeister here from Food Parts Portland. I haven't Thank seen you. Thank you for having me. Again. Well, it's been and a again, while. And again. But, you know, I, I, I think I saw you at a food cart the other day. Because uh, everybody eats the food carts, right? I do. You don't normally eat the food carts in my neighborhood. I've been there, though. Have you? Been to Urban Witches, been to Bruce Lee's. I love, I love Urban Witches. Oh, yeah. They're good. good. And, and Garden State. Garden State finally Garden reopened. State. Finally reopened. This is the nice thing about doing a show in a parking lot, is everyone can come and say hello to you and not realize yes. that you're on air. Yes. We need a big on-air light, but it wouldn't be as fun. No, no, you know, because it... It keeps it real. Yeah. So tell me what's going on with food carts. Well, the, unless you, in case you don't know, what what is food carts Portland? Well, food carts Portland is uh, the site <laughs> in Portland where you can find anything and everything about food carts mm -hmm. in Portland. Street food. Uh, we profile the carts. We profile the owners. We talk about news. We talk about what's coming, what's going, etc. Yeah. Um, you know. What's crazy about 2010 is that we survived 2009, 2010 winter. Yeah. Everybody thought that it, all the food carts would close because of the economy. We're going into 2010 with gangbusters. Um, by my estimate, 30 carts open by June 30th. Mm -hmm. um, between it's been now a boom. And it's been a June huge 30. boom. Yeah, there were five carts open last week. Yeah. So it, it's downtown. It's in the on the east side. There are carts opening on the west side. It's 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 crazy. It's, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Why do you think? And I've asked you this before. Why do you think that with the economy suffering, we still have food carts popping up everywhere? Well, there is a, there is a you know a new, unique entrepreneurial feature to it. People can open a food cart. It's something unique. It's something specific to a genre, but also, you know, credit is still tight. Um, it's very expensive to open a restaurant, yeah. so the, the food cart owners, who are sometimes chefs, yeah. sometimes, you know, have burned themselves out as chefs, they want to try something new. And so opening a food cart is this amount of money, open a restaurant, this amount of money. So it's a big difference. So what exactly is it that you can find out when you go to foodcarts.com? Foodcarts Portland, excuse me. We have a full listing of all the carts in Portland. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, profiled about 200 carts now. Uh, there are about 200 carts that are available at any time during the day or night yeah. throughout Portland. There are about another 350 that are available at events or at construction sites or who are truly mobile. Yeah. Um, and you know what we have is we have a profile of each cart, talking about the owner, what their food is like, etc. And uh, their hours, their sample menus, etc. Okay. And who chronicles all that? I and my fellow partners. Oh, it's the best thing ever. Yes, we eat at food carts every day. Every single day, yes. literally? Um, yeah, literally. 
Not figuratively, literally. Literally every single day you eat at food carts? Yes. Okay. Two weeks ago we ate at 16 food carts in one day. Where did you eat today? Where did I eat today? I ate at Addie's Sandwich Bar mm -hmm. up on 10th and Alder. Okay. And how was it? It was brilliant. Yeah? We, uh, sh My wife and I shared a... Um, Hi, Anna. She got a... Uh, Tuna fish with uh, hard boiled eggs mm -hmm. uh, sandwich on a mini we get. I got the olive tapenade with basil and uh, mozzarella yeah. on a little tea baguette. It was brilliant. All right. So, if you were going to recommend that people try two food carts. No, oh, don't do oh, that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Two food carts this week. Just this, this week. week. Um, two food carts. I'd, I'd throw up Ali's food cart on 10th and Alder because Ali's is doing some great stuff. Mm -hmm. He's doing a um, fundraiser on the 24th for kids. It's Turkish Kids Day. Also, he does donor kebab. Uh -huh. And I would also throw out, uh, I'd also say, check out Portland Soup Company. Visited there last week. And there, there's stuff at Portland Soup Company that you can't get at a restaurant. Yeah. And they're doing it at a cart. Portland Soup Company's at 4th and uh, Hall, down by PSC, Southwest. Okay, and I have one last question for you before you go, because you've been heavily ingrained in tech culture here in Portland yeah. for a long time. And so it was kind of a shift when you left some other places to move over to Food Carts Portland, but I think that there's a very authentic tie, especially in Portland, between Food Carts and the tech scene. So how do you think that came about? Well, I, I truly believe that uh, Portland, the food carts understood what technology could offer them mm -hmm. in the sense of the blogs, the websites, and then when, you know, in 2009 when Twitter really became a, a juggernaut, yeah. you know, places like Wiffy's and Big Ass Sandwiches and uh, Nong's Come On Guy, they, they jumped on the social media and just like went to town. Yeah. Facebook is now even trumped Twitter in some ways in oh, the ways of that. producing, that um, you know, show, showcasing <laughs> their, their specials, um, showcasing yeah. openings, etc. And so it's, it's really how the social media has um, allowed the carts to become, you know, get more of an audience even before they open and then tell their story while they're open. So. Right. Well, Brett, thank you so much for joining us. It's always a pleasure to have you. Thank you, Cammie. And you it's good. always a pleasure to be here. Thank you. We're going to take a little break and we're going to talk to Daryl Lee Thompson. We're not going to talk to Daryl Lee Thompson. Woo! We're going to let Daryl Lee Thompson do a little song for you. We're going to break it down campfire style. Like a mouse in a cage With a lazy snake My mind begins to try to find a way But I begin to break Oh, the pressures I can't take Well, all I know is you can buy an inch of gold But you'll never find No one to sell you no inch of time So I'll take Every breath I make This world a little better place She don't care Like a fat kid Charge of the whole damn cake My mind begins to try to find a way That I'll begin to break Oh, the pictures I can't take Well, all I know is you can Buy an inch of gold, but you'll never find no one to sell you no inch of time. So I take with every breath that I make this world a little better place, but you don't care. This world a little better place, but you don't care. This world a little better place, but you don't care. Like a mouse in a cage. With a lazy snake My mind begins to try to find a way I begin to break All the pressures I can't take Well all I know is you can buy an inch of gold But you'll never find No one to sell you no inch of time So I'll take 
with every breath I make This world, a little better place that you don't care This world, a little better place that you don't care This world, a little better place that you don't care Thank you, Daryl. Daryl will be back in a couple minutes, but we're going to stop and we're going to talk to Greg because while Four Square Day wasn't Greg's idea, <laughs> having a crazy ass swarm at Whippy's was. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so, this is Greg Abbott, the proprietor of Whippy's and most recently the maker of kombucha. Is that how you say it? Yes. Yeah, wow. I'm impressing even myself. <clears throat> what? <laughs> I don't know. What were you thinking? <laughs> Did you wake up with your crazy hair and just go, hey, I know, I should try for a swarm? I was napping yesterday and I woke up and I actually had a glass of tea and then I woke up from a nap and all of a sudden my brain was like... And I had been talking to Joel Gibby about what we were going to do for Foursquare Day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adjust your mic. <laughs> be fine. We do this kind of thing all the time. We'll just... There we go. Is that better, Morgan? All right. Um, so we were talking about what we were going to do. Who are you talking to? I'm sorry. Joel Gibby. Okay. He, I think he's from Zoom Media. Okay. I don't know where he's from. But, um, so I was like, what's the craziest thing that we could possibly do? And I was like, what's the hardest thing? And then I was like, all right, let's try for a super swarm because Austin had one. I gotta I mean, tell you, I'm well, not. You were there. I'm not too invested. I mean, I hope you, you get a there. super swarm, but I've already got my super swarm badge. <laughs> I know. Because I, yeah. So does Hockley. Oh, so does Hockley. Well, Hockley's, Hockley's got one, Hockley and that's why he doesn't Austin. care. Yeah. But for the rest of us poor Portlanders. I'm trying. I checked in, but I'll be honest. I'm not even getting my my four square, four square day badge. I've had like ten different people check in for me. I'll I'm call, like, I'll call Dennis. And call Dennis happens. and say, hey, can be chaos. She's gonna throw a fit. It's Dennis, if you're ugly. watching this. Why would you deprive me of my badge? Right. I she also didn't it. get my survivor badge from Austin. I'm just saying, that's not okay either. Foursquare. Foursquare hates me. Yeah. I love Foursquare, and Foursquare hates me. So you just thought, that what's the craziest thing I can do for Foursquare Day? Yeah, and I, well, I, I really wanted the super form badge. Yeah. It's got a cute little, I'll show it to you. No, Have don't you show it to it? me. You don't want to no, know I'm what it looks it. like? I'm earning it. It's so cute. No, don't do it. I have a tattoo at home. I have a little tattoo. I almost wore it Brian, in honor of tonight. You're not going to look? <laughs> I'll look. All right, let me find it. Hold on. Let me get it. Badges. Let me find my super swarm. It's so cute. Where is it? Oh, there's the swarm. Where's my... Oh, you know what? It's not on there. It's not on there because yes. it's from Austin. I yes. can't show... I'd have to show it to you on the website. Well, now you can get the Portland one to go with it. Mm, that would be nice. Okay, everyone, get your asses down here. I want the Portland super swarm badge so it shows up on my ass. Now. 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 Okay. So we're at Whiffy's, which is kind of your little baby. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's grown into a, it's a grown giant into a baby. Full-on baby now. Yeah. Um, We've discussed this before too, but why why fried pies, Greg? I'm sorry. Was, I, did I introduce Greg? Greg Abbott hi. at Whiffy's on Twitter. Hello. Yeah. Uh, why? Why the fried pies? I was looking for something else. Yeah. You know, and I was looking for something that everyone wasn't doing. I felt like the food cart market was getting sort of saturated, and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to cook Mexican food or Thai food. And no, there's a lot yeah. of that. Let's just say like there's a lot of there's it. A, there's enough of that. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking, like, what, you know, what would be awesome? And fried lemon pies. pies. Le lemon pies are awesome. It's okay. It's okay, man. It's okay. I have a yellow shirt on. You do have a yellow shirt. <laughs> I'm going to have the Reuben later, so. Okay. I'm ready. I might be cool with that. Okay. I, I I think they saved one for me. So. They did. Yeah. Spicy sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was it. You were like, what's different? What's yeah. What's not being done? What's not being done? And I was sort of, I was going for that sort of like, what, what are people that I'd like to like hang out with going to eat? Yeah. And that's what it came to, really. And so then why did it become like a Twitter phenomenon? Because it is. I mean, if you're on Twitter in Portland, then you're familiar with Whippies. A lot of that had to do with, like, luck. Yeah. Like, I, I ran into um, one of the big big vegan food bloggers in town, uh, Get Stone, uh -huh. who sort of got me in touch with Geeky Girl Dawn, mm -hmm. who got me in touch with Raven, who got me in touch with 
Dale Chumbly and Aaron Hockley and you know what I mean from there. You're just, really hoping that Hockley or Chumbly don't win the uh, the pie for you. If either of those two win tonight's thing, then I am sunk. Okay, so let's talk about that. What? There's something special. If you come down to Whippies now and there are more than 10 people checked in, you get a dollar off your pie. If you check into Whippies tonight between 10 and midnight, you're you're entered in a drawing. If we get 250 people, oh, only, 250 check-ins. Only if you get 250 right. check-ins. Okay. So if, if we, we get, get the super swarm. If we get the super swarm, he will draw one name, and that one person will have free uh, one free pie every day for a year. For a year. Uh, Betsy told me that if she wins, I have to pay for her gas. That's not worth it, man. I know. I said that's going to cost me. He's distracted by his baby. It's crying. It's, it's calling, calling me. To it's him. calling me. So we're going to get him sleep. off. We're going to have Daryl come back. I know he's here. People somewhere. are telling me that they have dreams about my card. I'm like, what do you I've think? Had I dreams don't have... I've had dreams about I your know, card. Isn't it crazy? Yeah, I have. Everything goes on inside my head. Yeah, I have to say thank you for something. I, I don't know if everyone knows this. For my birthday, I got lemon pie. I, I heard that happen. Yeah. I came down, and I didn't even have to order it. I came down, and you weren't even here. And I think it is it Pete? Is that his name? Matt. Matt? Matt. Okay, I'm bad with names. Me too. Matt was here and he said, I don't even need to know, what, I don't have to ask what kind of pie you want. Happy birthday. Here's your pie. It's become... Uh, I wanted to cry a little. You can thank to Rosie. Oh, well, can I? Okay. He said. Did he, did he lay down the law? He laid down the law. That's important to know. I'll thank him next time yes. I see him. Um, I'll probably kick him and then I'll thank him. All right, I think That's Greg is getting antsy. So let's see if we can find Daryl. Does anyone see Daryl? 250 guys. We need 250 I need help. people. Real bad. Real bad. How many people have checked in? Almost 100. Almost 100, so we need 150 more. We see my math skills? More. Actually, we need a little more than 150 more. It's we can, almost 100. We can do it. If anyone sees Daryl, can you poke him in the ribs and say, hey, Daryl, Cammy needs you to come play some lovely music? I hear him. I hear him strumming somewhere. Hi, Dale. Hi, Dale. What's happening? What are we doing? We're, we're, doing, a show, we're doing the show. Strange love, come on over. Come on over, Dale. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. It's Dale Chumbly. <laughs> You're about to go on the show. I'm killing time. I'm killing time until I find Daryl. So let's just have Greg too. You can have a seat, babe. Greg, we'll give you a. You're gonna sit down and talk. Are we gonna talk? Oh yeah, we're gonna talk. <laughs> I'm the man. What did I do? Oh. There you go. Okay. Is this for me? Yeah, you're going to sit down for a second. We're going to talk to Daryl, but we're going to have you sit for just a second. Yeah, yeah, babe, we're recording. Are we live? Yes, we are. That's why we call it Strange Love Live. Yes, because it's live. This is not the first time you've been on my show. It's not. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What is it? Because you're a junkie. You are a Whiffy's Pie junkie. How how many times? <laughs> You're still charming and adorable and spelled. It's okay. Spelled. How, how many times a week are you here, Dale? Times a week? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now, probably one. Okay, but for a while. For a while. Well, I had one week I was here every day. Dale. Dale. Did I say that out loud? Dale, you did say that out loud. Um, I was, yeah, one week I was here. I gotta fix your mic, apparently. Apparently, people aren't allowed to mic themselves. Okay. Is that better? Okay. Can you hear me now? We'll get you off the show in a second because we're going to have Daryl. That's okay. Yeah, you got other people in here. But but what Several is it? Several times a week. What is it that makes you so crazy about with these? Well, the pies are wonderful. Yeah, they are. And the people are amazing. Yeah, they are. And it's really it's a social thing. Yeah, it is. It's getting people out here to enjoy pie. Yeah, that's true. So, what's your favorite pie? All of them. Oh, damn. Um, well, I have to say, well, for my birthday, they actually made the Kahlua pork pie uh -huh. for my birthday. So, so nice. Yeah, so that we was made cool. lemon pie for my birthday. I know. So We're anyway, I, We are. We are so spoiled. We happen to know the right guy. Yeah, it's good to, um, it's good to be us. So I actually, I like all of them, but I end up typically going with the savories. Yeah, I like the savory pies, the briskets, except for the lemon. The, yeah. If they have lemon, I get it. Otherwise, I, I get a savory. Yeah, that's kind of where I am. All right. Well, Dale, can you tell everyone where we, we can find you on Twitter and what your uh, realty website is? On Twitter, you can find me Dale Chumbly, which is D-A-L-E-C-H-U-M-B-L-E-Y. Uh -huh. And you can find me on Facebook on the 365 Things to Do in Vancouver, Washington. Awesome. And my real estate is ClarkCountyRealEstateGuide.com. Awesome. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. Go get your pie. I got to order. I know. Uh, my, they're saving mine for me. I don't know what you're going to do. All right, Daryl. We'll we're pie. ready for you.
Thanks. Thanks, Dale. Thanks, guys. And now we've got Daryl Lee again. All right. I have a I have a busted eardrum. My right eardrum's busted, so if I sound crappy, it's just because I sound crappy. <laughs> okay. Kevin, you got it. This is my uh, this is my emo cowboy, black emo cowboy song. Uh, I'm calling a new style. I'm gonna call it blemo. Searching, I've been searching all my life. Searching through the struggle and the strife. Oh, and I still haven't found. I think I have another round. Homeward bound. Falling, I've been falling all this time. I said, falling, far from your grace. Oh, and I still couldn't see what was right in front of me. Homeward bound. Grass is always green, baby. I'll be there. I said, Home. Well, I'll be safe and sound, baby. I'll be coming around. Homeward bound, frozen. I've been frozen all this time. I said frozen in a bottle full of wine. Oh, and I still couldn't see what was right in front of me. I still haven't found oh, what I've been looking for. I still can't hear what you've been saying. Home bound. Home bound. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I still haven't found. Oh, I think I have another round. Still haven't found. I think I have another round. Oh, I still haven't found. In fact, I think I have another Whiffy's pie. Homeward bound. <laughs> Thank you. We're back. Do I have a mic? I've got people. I've got people pointing and stuff. I've got stuff going on. I don't know. There's been some waving. There's there's like a guy in the audience that seems to know everybody here but doesn't think he does. And I'm joined right now by Jake Kermoto. Hi, Hello. Jake. Hi, Kimmy. I finally got you in my chair. Yes. How you Again. doing? Again, I know. <laughs> I had you well. very briefly at a, at a conference. But it was imperative that you come on today. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> well, it was, because there's really no one I know that's more well-versed with Foursquare. And what's today, Jake? Today is Foursquare Day. It's Foursquare Day? Apparently. Holy shit, why didn't you tell me? I did. Oh. Via Rick. Right? Oh, is that how the... Yeah, oh, uh -huh. yeah. What's Foursquare Day, Jake? Foursquare Day is apparently a, a day that some people in Tampa came up with. 
uh -huh. the, to celebrate four square because uh -huh. um, it's four sixteen and yeah. four squared is apparently so I'm told sixteen. It is. It's true. Four squared is sixteen. Unverified sources. Unverified sources. You don't have those math skills. I'm not really good at the math. I'm not very good at the math either, but I know that. No. The internet's told me that today. Was the internet told you it was four square day, and you listen. So people in Tampa decided, yes. hey, four square should have its own holiday. Apparently, it was a doctor in Tampa. A doctor in Tampa decided that four square should have its own holiday. Yes. All right. So, how is it not just in Tampa? Well, apparently, the doctor had some friends that had internets. And oh, they people created, have internet. Apparently, other people outside of Portland also have internets. <laughs> I thought it was hard success. to believe. I know. Um, so they created a website that was, you know, I guess it's for sqday.com, yes. four square day, and they, uh, they started lobbying four square to create a badge, and then other people to create the uh, their own the events. Event. So on four square day, everybody check in at this venue, and we'll celebrate and get a badge and. So let me, let me ask you a question about Foursquare. The thing okay. is that you have all of this uh, okay. knowledge and experience I think I know in the realms going. of Foursquare. Okay. Is there a reason that maybe a certain individual, <laughs> nobody you know, just a certain individual might be continuously cheated out of her Foursquare <laughs> badges that she has okay. earned? I don't know. I really don't know. I Apparently you're doing it wrong. I, I, I had other people do it for me because I was afraid I was doing it wrong. I did it I did it myself the first time. I was time. able to do it right. And then I... Okay, Jake. Here's what we're going to do. Apparently you have to shout. I, I did. Correctly. I shouted. Well, apparently not loudly right. enough. So here's the thing, Jake. Yes. I'm going to go. Let's go see where people are. Who's here? There are 82 people here at there are a lot of people Fried here. Pies. So I'm going to click the check-in button and you're going to type in the little shout box for me. That's the shout box, yeah? I think all you have to do is actually shout. You're already checked in here, right? So just there's a button that says shout. Yeah. You I see that. the shout button. So, so I think I'm actually, hold on, I think I'm, where am I checked in? Well, if you're checked in here, if you I'm shout. I'm checked in at Cartopia. Okay. So let's oh, go. Oh yeah, we can try, we can try Let's Whiffies. go check in at Whiffies. Okay. Let's, know, let's go to Whiffies, people. Places. Places, people. Places. Places. All right. I'm going to Whiffies. If you're here, I need places. I don't I want places. All right. Here. This is Whiffies. So check into Whiffies. Right. And then do I type in here or do I actually just I think check you in? Type in there. Okay. You type for me. <laughs> type the right thing, Jake. And tell everyone at home what you're typing. Well, so... Earlier today, when I was at the Alliance Eye over on 82nd. Yeah, which is the um, official Foursquare party for Portland. It was, yes. Yeah. Mike, but it's over now? Honor! Yes. Okay. Oh, I don't know. We, they got their swarm badge and then kind of dispersed. Did they get swarm or super swarm? It was only it was only a swarm. Media, but you you and I, we got super swarm. We did get the super swarm, yeah. yes. If there were 250 people here, we would not be able to have this much space no, we to ourselves. So. But we already have the super swarm from Austin. Anyway, um, Mike... I want to say Perozo. I just met him tonight. Okay. Not a good. I'm not really good with names. Anyway, he said. Makes two of us. Yeah. He said if you check in with the hashtag 4SQ Day okay. as a shout, that would work. Have okay. you tried that already? Yeah. I guess we'll see. Now you have to check your badges to see if you got them. So. I don't know if it's earlier. instantaneous or not. Normally, it's more, normally it pops. I don't have it. Normally, it pops up a little well, thing I, and says. I think you should call Dennis Carly. All right, we'll have words with Dennis on the bat phone. Well, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll have you set that up for me. So, is there any is there anything else that we should know about Foursquare Day, which is almost over, by the way? We've it only got about over. an hour left. Um, it, it's kind of cool because the users of Foursquare organized it ad hoc in like a week. Yeah. For a couple weeks. I don't know how long it was exactly. In a short period I, I only heard time. about it yesterday, so. Okay. Um, yeah. They put it together quickly in like cities all over the country. 118? Potentially over the all over the world. Okay, so Greg has asked you to inform everybody we're at 118 right now, so we're, oh, nice. we're, we're you know, half, almost halfway there. We're, we're almost halfway <laughs> to Super Swarm. Yeah. Anyway, um, along. we've got an hour left. Yeah, so it was a community generated thing and mm -hmm. uprising. Yeah, all that. Excellent. Yeah. All Four right. Square's awesome. Okay. So, Jake? Yes, Cammie. Where can we find you on the internet and on Twitter? On the internet, you can find me at jkermot on Twitter. Spell it. J-K-U-R-A-M-O-T. 
and I also sometimes blog on the Silicon Florist. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a little website. Do you ever post anything aside from the Lunch 2.0 post? I do not, no. I'm only a Lunch 2.0 poster. It's a very specific niche that so far. you feel. I have not been promoted beyond that. Yet. Yeah, he's kind of a hard ass. He's the editor in chief. So. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't like to share his toys. Yeah. Not at all. All right, Jake, thank you so much for thank joining you, us. I can't wait till you come and have your own episode with me. I've been threading that for almost two hours. Yeah, you're, you're not going to like it tomorrow morning when you get the DM that says, okay, let's pick a date. It's fine. All right. Thank as you long so as it's not Jake. so cold. Look, I'm going to shake your hand and everything, we'll shake hands. Mayor. Hearty handshake. I just Stop. have to say, Jake is also the mayor of the QFC in oh, my yeah. neighborhood. He's taken my favorite mayorship. Well, one of my favorite mayorships away. I'm not going to disclose my other favorite stuff. Whose mayorship is it? It's yours now. What well, can you do something about the fact that they stopped carrying my favorite Who's gum? Who's the mayor? And I'll say that. I'll say, Jake, Jake, you're the mayor. Who's the mayor of my... I am. Oh, yeah, I took my mayorship back. You took it back. Yeah, there was someone else who may have been the mayor of my house for a very long time. <laughs> because I wasn't on Foursquare. All right. We don't need to get into that. I am the mayor of my house. And I'm the mayor of QFC. And you're the mayor of QFC. That's right. That's right. All right, Jake, thank you so thank much you. for joining us. It was awesome to have you. Thanks for having me. D-mic yourself. Okay. Step up, and we're going to bring Daryl back over. One or two. You got seven minutes, so. All right. TV. Whatever you can do for seven minutes, and then I've got to have the uh, a TV guy, and then then after that you come on. No, no, do you can either do one song or two. It's up to you. Whatever is going to fill that time. All right. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Daryl. This song goes out to me. My friends was walking through the cold light of morning. Yeah, tears may blind the eyes, but the soul is not to see. Yeah. Even in this world, even winter, and what it seems to be, here comes the blue skies, here comes the springtime. When the river runs high And the tears, the tears run dry When everything that dies, yeah Shall rise I said love Is stronger than death I said love, 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 love Stronger than death, yeah, yeah. In our lives we hunger for those that we can't touch. It's hard to believe that the soul of a seed, yeah, has eyes and nose and flesh and blood. And bleeds and smiles but never dies Here comes the blue skies Here comes the springtime When the river runs high And the tears, the tears run dry When everything that dies Shall rise I said love, love, love Stronger than death. Love, 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 love is stronger. Stronger than death. Yeah, yeah. Ow. Stronger. Stronger.
one? All right, I got one. Here's, here's a quick one. Uh, it goes something like... I would who A little thing called thing. Stabbing story. Oh, fun. <laughs> You're used to that. <laughs> the mean streets of Selwood. Yeah, I know. Made me tatter. for explaining the whole four square thing, Shana. Yeah, we're at the corner of Southeast 12th and Hawthorne behind these with these tribe ties. And four square is basically an online application. We're here to talk more about that. Cami Chaos with Strange Love Live. And tell us, what is this four square deal? So four square is a geolocation gaming web app with uh, applications also on iPhone, Android, and different mobile platforms. And it's just a game where you can locate where you are by business, by home. You can add uh, locations. And you're rewarded with fun little badges. And uh, makes you happy. You can be the mayor of a place. <laughs> so tonight, in terms of Whippy Fried Pies, mm -hmm. what is what is Foursquare doing for them? What do the Foursquare users get if they come here? So uh, today is uh, 416, which is four squared. So it's four square day. And Whippy's is trying for a super swarm, which would be 250 people checked in at one time. And if they get 250, then uh, Greg, the owner and proprietor of Whippy's, will uh, give one of the people checked in a free pie, one free pie a day for a year. And then the regular users get a dollar off pies, correct? Correct. Anyone checked in when there are more than people, 10 people checked in, now we're like about 120, I think, uh, get one dollar off their pie. All right, thank you so much, Cammie. Thank well, you. Well, this event continues well in the night, so Shauna, you still have time to get down here and grab your pies. you my mommy. On, You're so cute. Oh, okay. You're taking one of the real camera now. Dr. Normal, do you want to get in this shot? Uh, be quick. We don't have all day. Oh, I got my headphones <laughs> on, man. All right, hold on. <laughs> That's cool. Do it well. Come on. Go, I, I got to go wrap up my show. Right 
<laughs> no, don't, don't, don't do that again. That's my MO. <laughs> Alright, and three, two. That's brilliant. Okay, oh, thank again. you. Have a good night. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thanks, All right. Man. So where's Daryl? Come on, have a seat. So let's get you, Mike. Real fast. Um, can you can you give Daryl a ride back to the neighborhood? Um, I am going to take off like really, really. I Morgan. Okay. Yeah, ask Morgan. Because Morgan, as soon as we wrap here, Morgan's. Did someone just speak to me? Yeah. What? We're ready? Okay, hey, we're back with Strange Love Live. We're still at Whiffy's. It's a little after 11, I think. I wonder if someone can, if Greg can tell us, how, how many are we, Brian? It's 11.10, and I'm gonna have someone check for me to see how many people are currently checked in on Foursquare, but right now we're gonna talk to Daryl Lee Thompson, and I had the, the pleasure of meeting Daryl during 30 hour day, where he came and gave a, an amazing, an incredibly spirited performance. We didn't have the luxury of talking to or listening to a lot of the performers that, that we had at 30 Hour Day. Uh -huh. And you were a, a surprise and a complete pleasure to have. And oh, thank you. you were one of the only people that tracked me down uh, afterwards during the event and said hi to me and I really appreciated it. Oh yeah, yeah, I appreciate the whole event just to be a part of the community. You know, I've only been here a year, mm -hmm. last Nevada, last uh, November, I came from, uh, from Reno, Nevada. Uh -huh. And uh, I've, I've gotten more done up here musically in the last year than I've gotten done in the last like eight years. Yeah. You know? So it's like just a pleasure to be involved. It's an inspirational place. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. All I right. So it. why don't you tell us where we can find you on the internet, and then yeah. we'll talk a little bit of and and some of the projects you're working on, and then we'll talk a little bit about your music. Okay. Uh, you can find me at Facebook, uh, MySpace, uh, Reverb Nation. It's just Daryl Lee Thompson at whatever the application would be, D-A-R-Y-L-L-E-E-T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N. <laughs> All spelled exactly like they're supposed to be. Lowercase Nothing letters. Tricky. Yeah. Nothing tricky at yeah. all. Yeah, no, no tricks. You can also just Google me. Google me. <laughs> I like saying that to people. Oh, yeah, just Google me. Just Google me. me. You can find me. Sky. Yeah, I'm all over the place. And on Twitter, you're Lazuza? Is yeah, that how you Lazuza. L-A-Z-Z-U-Z-A? -Z -Z yes. Okay. Follow me on Twitter. Oh, I, I didn't even realize you were on Twitter today <laughs> until today, and I was like, oh, shit, it's Daryl. Okay. Dude, I'll follow him. Yeah, yeah. So when did you start playing music? Uh, when I was about 14. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, uh, now. <laughs> I was just yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's been playing for 10 years. Yeah, about 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, right lately, I've been really focusing not so much on the instrument, or even music, but on um, songwriting, just yeah. composition itself. I've been messing around with that kind of stuff. and Almost like uh, how you take book clubs, you read a book and get together and discuss yeah. the finer points of the, the, the book. Of the, the oh, yeah, literature, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I like doing that with music. And so I have a songwriting club that I've been putting together, and it's called PDX Songwriters Club, mm -hmm. exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Four exclamation points. Yes, four. Four, and it's very important. It'll be up on Facebook pretty soon here. I'll, I'm working on the page. You'll work on that tonight. Yes, possibly, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, also, I've been uh, involved in a house band called Just a Tip at, at uh, the Blue Monk. Every Sunday nights, we do Sound Off Sundays. Come in, what 8 o'clock. It starts at 8 o'clock okay. until closing. And that's every Sunday, so come down and participate. There's poetry, there's all kinds of a melee, melee of things. Is there anywhere online we can buy your music? Not just yet. Uh, what I'll be, I, I, this, I think it's going to have to come into this fall because this summer's going to blow up, so yeah. I'm going to be really busy. But this fall, I'm going to be going to the studio. I have a producer, Asher uh, Furtado. Uh -huh. He's going to be producing my stuff for me. He plays in everyone orchestra. He's, he just got back from Cairo, jamming over there. Fantastic. He's in all over the place. So that'll be coming out. It's going to be called Magic Banana. Magic Banana. Woo! All right, yeah. well, Daryl, I can't thank you enough for coming out thank and you. playing for us tonight. Thank you for it having me. It was a pleasure. It was, it was awesome. good to talk to you. It was awesome. Are we going to see you at 30 Hour Day, too? Yes, you will. Yes. Sweet. We'll have Morgan. Uh, We'll have Morgan fix your time. Yes. All right. Everybody, a big round of applause for Daryl. I, I don't even care if you're sitting at home right now. 
Give Daryl. I don't care if you look silly. Do it. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Everybody, I think that's it for us tonight. We need you to get your asses down to Whiffy's, though. He really wants the Super Swarm. He doesn't have the badge. Get down here and check in. Get some pie. They're really good. But I'm going to have to say goodnight because I can't eat pie on camera, and I've got a Reuben waiting for me. <laughs> so I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to be here for a while having a pie. I hope you guys come down. I hope you have a great night. Get your pie What on. am I showing? Somebody, does anyone have a pie they want to put on camera? Apparently... I'm Brian's gone off to find a pie. They're beautiful. They're little pockety hand pies. They're beautiful pockety hand pie goodness. They're magic. They're magic. Hey, look, can you show your pies <laughs> to the camera? Look, he's got three. But what kind of pies are these? Uh, we got chocolate cherry. Chocolate and cherry. And a couple of the vegan. And a couple of the uh, Florentines. The vegan Florentines. Excellent. Gotta love it. Thank you so much. What? No, no, we're good. He showed us the pies. We're cool. We're cool. We'll be in. All right, you guys, thank you so much for another wonderful Strange of Life. We'll be back next week at 10 o'clock. I hope you can join us, and I hope you have a great week. Bye. Nice. Thank you, Daryl.